Hello and happy holidays to you. I'm Vivali Bernstein. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight for episode 45 of Let Me Tell Your Story, The Monthoscopes. So tell me, what month were you born? Could you believe that it's your birth month? Not your birth date or time or day that you were born, but the month that you were born that helped shape your destiny. Just think about it. You really could have born, been born in any month, and in reality, you were. So tonight, I'd like you to experience the monthoscopes, a look into what just might apply to you based on the month that you were born. So let's kick it off with the month that we're in right now, December. If you were born in December, then you should already know that every day that you wake up is a gift to you. As we know, this month has been celebrated for years as a month of giving and celebration of the birth of a king. It's also a month of reflection for those born in this month as they reflect back over the last 11 months to see just how given they really were. A time to ask oneself, did I give more than I received? Only you would know the answer to this. If you were born in December, you are the gift that keeps on giving and your life is the gift that keeps you willing. So, you say you were born in January? Well, there's no doubt that you like to be first, just like the month itself. One thing about those born in January is the ability to see the good in others. Although those born in January often find themselves starting over, but most times they often succeed in what they set out to do. If you were born in January, you have the ability to move fast forward. Remember, you are the head and not the tail. And your birth month, the first month of the year, kicks off the rest of your life. So let's take a look at the month of February. If you were born in this month, chances are you still looking for love. No, it's not you, but the ones you open your heart to that keeps you wondering about your ability to love and to be truly loved. Most people born in this month radiate love and deactivate any negativity before it can even reach its surface. Were you born in February? Those of you born in March usually have a cool level head about your own life. The freshness of each March day keeps those born in this month constantly striving for that person they feel they were called to be. When others say you won't, you always move forward to show that you can. Just like the March wind, most people born in this month are usually breezy in their spirit and their positive projection. Were you born in March? Well now, is April your birth month? If so, it's the month for planting that seed and nourishing it to harvest. This is what you often do and most certainly are destined for, life's harvest. Born in April, you have a strong faith, but it's often tested but never wavered. Those born in April are constantly blooming and love every bit of the attention they often get. If you were born in this month, April, you are meant to spring up from the earth to the sky. Let's talk about the month of May, would you? Born in this month means you are certainly not anyone's follower. You lead and do it with authority. Your ability to organize and pay attention to details are your strong point. Born in the month of May has given you tough skin. However, your need to please sometimes can soften you up for those that may see you as an easy target for, may I? Well, how about June? Is this your birth month? Being born in June could mean that you're a ball of sunshine, always brightening someone's day at times without even realizing that you're doing it. Those born in this month have their foot on life's pedal and are determined to get their destination no matter the cost. July born, July bred. Those born in this month have more than cause for celebration because they're known as movers and shakers. Whatever they set out to do, they usually do it big and have no qualms about letting people know that they were responsible for getting it done. Those born in this month are no leaders as they move ahead daily in life celebration. If you were born in July, then you were the reason for your season. Let's take a peek a look at August. Is this your birth month? If so, then take control of those financial woes that seem to hit you when you least expect. Although you always find a way to pull up out of the situation, life would be much more easy if you planned in advance. Those born in this month, however, would take their last to help others even if it's setting them back. However, 
Those born in August, because of their warm spirit, are often met with luck, or some would call it blessing. Were you born in August? On we go to the month of September. Honest, creative, and caring are the three strong points of those born in September. Most people born in this month walk to the beat of their own drum. Organizing and paying attention to detail is why those born in this month constantly find themselves being promoted in life. If you were born in the month of September, you are closer to your destiny each time your month rolls around, discovering when you reached it is up to you. Now, what's up with October? Well, if this is your birth month, it's time to let those people in your life who are distracting you from your purpose go. The attitude of some people you encounter clashes with your can-do attitude. People born in October wear many hats and their ability to juggle is oh, it's what attracts many people to them. But deciding who stays in your circle is up to you. If you were born in October, you are like a magnet people attract to you. Well, we made it to the month of November. Those born in this month are usually lovers of food and mostly of preparing it. <laughs> Yet they're often picky when it comes to tasting the work of others. The ability to know what's good just by looking at it is strong points for those born in November. Not only are those born in November creative in the kitchen, they are often very creative in the bedroom. The stronger point about those born in November is the fact that they are nurturing all around, which usually keep those born in November in relationships that stand the test of time. Were you born in November? So, there you have it, the monthoscopes. Perhaps some of this applies to you. Keep in mind, however, that it was simply for entertainment purposes. <laughs> and I enjoyed writing it. And remember, if you're a writer and you have a story you'd like to tell, then send me the first two chapters of your book or short story or poetry to let me tell your story at hotmail.com. I'll review it and perhaps introduce it on an episode of Let Me Tell Your Story. Look, I'm going on vacation after tonight's episode and will return in January of 2014 for fresh new episodes of Let Me Tell Your Story. In the meantime, be blessed and have a safe and happy holiday season. I'm Vivali Bernstein. Thanks for watching Let Me Tell Your Story. Thank you.